Married at First Sight, Where Are They Now? Season 13, Houston. This season was filmed in 2021 and it premiered on July 21st of 2021. I am so excited. I have a new sponsor, Care Of. I can't wait to tell you about them later. So the couples for this season are Michaela and Zach, Rachel and Jose, Bow and Johnny, Mirla and Gil, and Brett and Ryan. While there was quite a bit of chaos during the season, child, the drama did not stop after the cameras went away. Hi, I'm Tamara, and this is Tamara Lynette Tells. Let's dive in. So let's begin with Michaela and Zach. After their weird decision day where Michaela said yes to staying married and Zach said no, but wanted to keep working on their marriage, things got even weirder. Zach started dating his castmate Johnny's wife, Val. They were in a full-on relationship. They even spent time together with each other's family and friends. All was going well with them until Val posted these pictures on her Instagram talking about the biggest risk she ever took in her life was being on the show and was thanking her family and friends for all of their support. When all of a sudden a lady named Elena popped in the comments of this post and typed, I wonder if she knows he's been sleeping with other women in Houston. Elena ended up DMing Bao and Chow. From there, all hell broke loose. Elena hopped on Reddit, Clubhouse, did YouTube interviews, telling her story, providing receipts, and put Zach on blast for being a cheater. After Elena came out, a couple of other women claimed that they were in intimate relationships with Zach as well. If the claims are true, Zach was having sexual relations with other women the entire time he was taping the show. I dedicated this entire video to the Zach, Elena, and Bao triangle where I read all of the receipts from Elena, how Zach and his family responded, and so forth. If you haven't heard the story, it's a juicy one. I encourage you to check out that video after you are done with this one, of course. Okay, so after that debacle, Zach went dark on his Instagram for a while, which was smart. In November 2021, he showcased the newest member of his family, a dog he named Dior. He now pops online once in a while to upload a picture of himself or display a video of him playing the piano. As for the rest of his life, he's keeping it out of the public eye for now. Probably a good idea. Moving on to Michaela, she's been very vocal about how fake she felt the show was. I created a video about that as well. In it, I explain in her own words why she believes the show was fake. I've actually created a few videos featuring Miss Michaela. They can be found in my Married at First Sight Season 13 playlist. So after the show ended, Michaela sought help and was diagnosed with ADHD. She seems to have done her research on it and made some changes in her life accordingly to address her mental health. She said that working out helps alleviate her ADHD symptoms. She purchased a home and took time to do some renovation projects on her own. She traveled to Peru and visited Machu Picchu and flew to Mexico to enjoy Playa del Carmen. In this photo, she shared that it was snapped the night she went to see Hamilton the musical and mentioned that she loves singing many of the songs from the soundtrack. Girl, me too. Helpless. Anyway, she has talked about being on the dating scene. However, it's not clear if she's currently in a relationship. Michaela wavers between removing her presence on social media altogether to making it private, to making it public. When I started working on this video, her Instagram was public. However, as of the date of this video, it's now private. When her Instagram account was alive and visible, I noticed that she removed all signs of being on Married at First Sight. This time after she made her account private though, I noticed that her profile says, no affiliation to the Lifetime Network or Kinetic content. Y'all be safe out there in them streets. <laughs> yeah, your girl is trying to distance herself from this show. I suspect she made her account private and is trying to pretend that she's not her because this season of Married at First Sight was a recently released on Netflix. So you know those keyboard warriors are all up in Instagram trying to get at her and send her some hate mail. In any case, before she went dark, I was able to capture this photo and video she posted in January of 2023. 
In the caption, she reflects on witnessing friends and family accomplish goals, losing loved ones, listening to her body. She mourns for the woman she used to be. And in the last paragraph, she said, I'm no longer a slave to my anxieties, my goals, people's projections, the shame of my failures, and the ideas of who I should be based on others' perceptions. I am who I am in the present. Take me or leave me, but energy can neither be created nor destroyed only converted from one form of energy to another. Cheers to 2023. So it sounds like Michaela's progressing in a way that makes her happy and is protecting her peace by pretending she wasn't on the show. Girl, do you boo. I hope she really has found inner peace. Rachel and Jose. Now these two said yes on decision day, but shortly thereafter broke up for good and are now divorced. Rachel has been living her best life. If you recall during the season, she said that she loves to travel. Well, since the show ended, she has been living out her travel dreams. She's pictured here in Atlanta at an Atlanta Braves game, and she didn't go alone. She was there with fellow Married at First Sight alums, Virginia and Clara. Well, not only has Miss Rachel been up, up, and away, but she started a blog called Booked at First Sight to talk about her travels. This is what she's chronicled so far. Two nights in Paris, baseball in Baltimore, three days in London, one week in Switzerland, three days in Croatia, seven days in Greece, nights in Nashville, Tulum takeover, solo in Seattle. I think it's safe to say that Rachel has figured out her finances enough to allow her to travel. I'm pretty sure she didn't need a whiteboard to discover how to do it though. Rachel and Mirla have become really close friends. They seem to hang out regularly and they even travel together. Rachel is very active on social media. She likes to talk about her dating life and even started a special Instagram page to share tales of her dating stories. Oh, and did I forget to mention that she uses the lemon effect in these videos? Yeah, she calls it lemon tea. Get it? She looks like a lemon and she's spilling the tea. Lemon tea? Okay, never mind. She's also very active on TikTok. There, she gave us the scoop on a guy she was kind of feeling. All right, everyone. So a little update. Remember I was talking about a guy um, that doesn't make any plans and yada, yada, yada. He was really young. Well, he invited me to a wedding and the wedding is in another country. So I'm packing and I'm about to go to a wedding with this guy. And we've been going on a couple of dates that I've planned, of course, and it's going well. So things were looking up for Rachel in her dating life. Shortly after she returned from her trip, she posted an update. Oh, so follow up with the guy I'm going out with. So we get back from El Salvador and this is around spring break. We get back, everything's fine. He was amazing on the trip. I mean, amazing. And so a week after that, he starts getting a little distant. And usually when guys get distant, I get like insecure and I start freaking out. But no, I've now grown and I know to just confront it. So I just asked him point blank. It's like, hey, something's up. You're not being consistent. You're not texting the way you used to. What's going on? And he's just saying he has a lot going on that he wasn't sure about us and everything. And I'm like, look, we're just, we're just hanging out. Like we don't have to take anything further. I'm not really trying to get into a serious relationship. We're just taking it really slow. So we agreed to just keep seeing each other, but taking it really slow. Well, everything gets back to normal. So I'm like, hey, how was your day? Nothing. He never texted me back. Womp, womp, womp. Aw, oh, it's back to the dating lemon head for Miss Rachel. Fortunately, she appears to be happy and living her best life in the meantime. Speaking of lemon heads, Jose still works for NASA, but has found time to hop in front of the camera over and over again. Here he's pictured in a Cialis commercial. And if you're not familiar with the product, it's a treatment for erectile dysfunction. He shared a couple of photos from another project he worked on. Not sure what this was. Finally, he works with a local electric company in Texas to do print ads and a TV commercial. AC! AC! That's right. Milestone keeps your AC running smoothly all season long. Call today for our fall special. Only $79. I don't know. 
know. He looked a little uptight in that ad. Maybe a few days before he headed to that shoot, he should have started taking vitamins from Care Of, their subscription service that will send him high-quality vitamins and supplements based on his personal needs. If you have been following me on Instagram, then you know I'm on my own little journey to health and wellness. Health is different for everyone, so I gave Care Of the opportunity to help me decide what works best for me. I've been taking vitamins for decades, but I have to admit that all this time, I've been guessing as to which vitamins to choose. But after completing their quiz that asked about my lifestyle and health goals, I learned about their suggestions and why they think I should be taking them. It took all the guesswork away, which was like, duh, this is such a no-brainer. They said me these cute packets with my name on them that contain the specific vitamins they suggested so i slide them in my purse and take them every day after i eat my breakfast one of the supplements they suggested for me is called focus i've been using it along with the other vitamins they recommended for a few days now and i'm starting to feel a difference on how i'm approaching the million things i need to get done every day and most importantly i'm not being as forgetful now these vitamins are reasonably priced as is but you know me i'm all about hooking you up with a discount so for 50 percent off your first care of order go to takecareof.com and enter code care of tamra 50. yes they are going to give you 50 percent off your first First care of order when you go to takecareof.com and enter code care of Tamara 50. I'll also put a link in the description. Okay, now back to Jose. Since the show, he's purchased his third home that he's going to keep as a rental property. As for his relationship with his castmates, well, he and Rachel are no longer in contact. However, he has been pictured with Ryan from his season, plus Kristen and Ben from San Diego. He's hung out with Henry from New Orleans, and there's his guy pal, Ryan. Plus, he shared this picture of himself with Eric from Atlanta. He's also donated his time to the Big Brothers and Big Sisters program and worked with them on some projects. Now, a Redditor spotted him on Hinge under the name of Jay, but I'm hoping that this is a fake account. The profile included lines like, purchasing my fourth house this year. Okay, braggadocious. Huge advocate of whiteboards. Save that for like the 18th date. An 800 plus credit score. I don't know if this is real, but it feels like a gold digger's dream profile. But who knows, maybe it worked because he's been pictured many times with a young lady who he hasn't claimed as his boo thing, but they appear to be on dates in these photos. They look really happy together. Perhaps he's found love again. Mirla and Gil. These two said yes on decision day, then Mirla broke it off shortly after. I did a one-on-one -on -one tell all interview with Mirla after the season ended and boy, did she spill the tea. I really enjoyed chatting with her. She was so warm and down to earth and trusted me with her story. If you haven't seen this video, you definitely need to watch it. Their story is not what it seemed. Gil intentionally misled her about his finances and took things for granted. My interview goes into details and includes receipts. For many, it completely changed their view of Mirla and for others, they were unmoved. Which one are you? Since the show, Mirla has been living her bestest life. She traveled with Rachel to Croatia, Paris, and Greece. She's also gone to Puerto Rico, Tulum, Berlin, and Cancun twice. She posts many health-related videos on her channel showing herself working out, eating healthy, and sharing her skincare routine. Oh, and surprise, surprise, Miss Singh got a dog and named her Portia. She even created an Instagram account dedicated to Portia. Okay, I know, I know. On the show, she was not a fan of having a dog. But after the season ended, she said that she's had dogs in the past. At the time when she was doing the show, she didn't want the responsibility of a dog. However, even Gil had to give her props for being a good dog mom to his dog hype. Perhaps spending time with Gil's dog changed her mindset on having a dog. In September of 2022, Mirla shared she was in a relationship. She kept his identity secret, only showing him in the dark or from behind. Unfortunately, she broke up with him two months later in October because the relationship didn't seem to be progressing. Now, I don't know how long they were actually in this relationship. She just made it public in September. Since then, she's been back on the single scene and even appeared on a YouTuber's channel that features singles looking for love. Mirla was a controversial cast member. Whether you love her or hate her, she's out there in them streets living her best life unapologetically. After the season, Gil participated in quite a few interviews and went live on Instagram to share his side of the story, which is similar to the story he shared on the reunion show. 
By the way, Mirla said one of the reasons she was being so cold to him at the reunion was because he had too much to drink, was lying about what really happened between them, and made disrespectful comments towards her that were not aired. Anyway, after the season, he mentioned that he started going to therapy and was a big advocate for therapy. He really loved it. He also got a peel box so people can send him things. People who sent him things that owned a small business got a special shout out in his Instagram stories, along with a shared link to their Instagram page. So he used his platform to give some small businesses free marketing. During his season, Gil had recently shifted careers to being a fireman. He seems to be comfortable and settled in his career now. And his buddy Hype is still by his side and seems to be enjoying Gil's new career too. Since the show, Gil has traveled to Puerto Rico, San Francisco, and Africa. Gil was featured in Married at First Sight season 16 as a dating prospect for Dominique. It was clear that he was not interested. Since then, if he's seriously dating someone or in a relationship, he's keeping it off social media. In any case, he appears to be very happy and enjoying his life as a fireman. Brett and Ryan. These two were an obvious no on decision day. Since the show ended, Brett has kept her Instagram private. Definitely can't accuse her of doing the show to gain Instagram followers. However, she has been spotted many a times on her fellow castmates' Instagram feeds. She traveled with Rachel Mueller and Johnny to Greece. She also hung out with them at a ball game. So she may be keeping her life private, but her smile seems to say it all. She looks happy. As for Ryan, I also had the pleasure of interviewing him. He was actually really sweet and open. Let me just say this. The show did not do his or Mueller's personality justice. They did not show how down to earth, funny and engaging these two are. So anyway, Ryan still keeps in touch with some of the husbands from his season and I believe Bao, but most of the wives are team Brett and don't really communicate with him. Since being on the show, Ryan has traveled to New York, Sedona and Mexico to name a few. And this Mexico trip was to meet Mindy from season 10. As you can see, they both climbed the same tree while out there in them Mexico dating streets. Unfortunately, there was no spark between the two of them. So they both moved on to hit up other Married at First Sight cast members. She's dating Steve from season 13. And Ryan has been in contact with quite a few Married at First Sight alum, including Kirsten from season 15, Alyssa from season 14, Lindsay from season 14, and I already mentioned Mindy, and I'm sure there are plenty others. But he does have a special boo thing. He is currently dating someone from a reality show, and, and I don't get the impression that she's a former Maz wife. I don't know who she is yet, but when I find out, I'm spilling that tea. Bao and Johnny. These two had a very dramatic season with a surprise ending. Johnny didn't appear to even like Belle throughout the season, nitpicking her personality to the point of not even liking her giggle. Yet in the end, she said no to staying married and he said yes. After their season ended, as I mentioned earlier, Bao got into what she thought was a monogamous relationship with Zach, which actually sounds funny to say, given that they were both married to other people. But during that time, she got a dog and named him Tofu. She even sent him to what she calls puppy school that he graduated from with full honors, summa cum labradoodle. Just kidding, but they did have a little graduation for him. So while she was dating Zach, she also had a divorce party to celebrate the end of her marriage to Johnny. They even had a Johnny pinata. After her breakup with Zach, Val has kept herself busy, still working as an administrator director of protocol research. She bought her second house. Congratulations. She and her siblings took a road trip over to White Sands National Park in New Mexico. It looks like they had a lot of fun. Go. <laughs> Bao definitely shows more of her silly side on her Instagram page than we saw on the show. And maybe I'm just a sucker for puppy videos, but I thought this one was cute. To work. No. Use your words. <laughs> Her dog is so precious. 
So Belle also donated her time to help plant 227 trees for a local organization. Oh, and if you would like to hire her to send a message to a friend or family member, you can find her on Cameo. But before you judge her, all of the proceeds she earns from this goes to charity. Recently, Bao spoke at one of her besties' wedding receptions. In this picture, part of the caption reads, it's weddings like these that leave me reminiscing and hopeful that there's someone for everyone. Sad face emoji. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that Bao is not currently in a relationship, but seems to be looking forward to the day when she becomes a wife again. As for Johnny... Fans suspected that Mirla and Johnny were creeping with each other. They have denied it, and I believe them. Mirla might be his type, but he certainly isn't hers. She likes men who look like Odell Beckham Jr., chocolate and athletic with hair. Let's not forget the hair. Since the show ended, Johnny traveled to Paris to attend a wedding, and it appears as though he enjoyed himself. He's often spotted hanging out with all of the Mavs wives from his season, except his own ex-wife, Bao. He joined Rachel, Mirla, and Brett on their trip to Greece. He and his gal pals looked like they had a blast exploring together. He and Michaela and friends went to the movies on more than one occasion. So it looks like they were movie buddies for a minute. And I say for a minute because Johnny seems to have a new movie buddy. His girlfriend, Kayla. Yes, Johnny is booed up. Kayla is rumored to work in the fitness industry and she is a food blogger. Pictures of the two of them together are littered all over his Instagram feed. They seem to be very active and spend a lot of time together exploring various places, including Thailand. They go to restaurants, hang out with friends, and he even introduced Kayla to his mom and dad. So it's pretty serious. In this video, he shows off how he's finally found a workout buddy. Aw, looks like Johnny's in love. Only time will tell if he's found his happy ending with Miss Kayla. So if anything is true for this particular season, while this cast may not have found their spouse, many of them walked away with new best friends. This show tends to do that, create new friends. Maybe they need to change the concept to besties at first sight. I think they would have a lot more success with that. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed catching up with this cast with me. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in my next video.